Toyota CEO Koji Sato just announced that Toyota will be producing a car that is sure to end the electric vehicle market. This is all thanks to a revolutionary engine that has never been used on any car before now. Why will this engine end the EV market? And when can we expect Toyota to launch this revolutionary car? Keep watching to get all the answers. Forget about battery-powered EVs. Forget about hybrids. Toyota just created an engine that turns CO2 into fuel. You heard that right. This new engine is called a carbon capture engine. Instead of dumping greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, this engine does the exact opposite. It removes carbon from the air. Sounds too good to be true? Check this out. At the heart of Toyota's latest innovation is the carbon capture engine, a marvel designed to do more than just propel vehicles forward. It actively combats carbon dioxide, CO2 emissions. This amazing engine was initially showcased in the GR Corolla race car. This technology marks a pivotal advancement in the pursuit of sustainable transportation. What sets it apart is its integration within a hydrogen fuel cell powertrain, coupling zero emissions propulsion with the capability to extract CO2 from the atmosphere. How does this groundbreaking system operate? Toyota's ingenuity shines through a meticulously crafted design comprising two filters and a fluid reservoir. Developed in collaboration with Kawasaki Heavy Industries, these filters resemble those found in modern exhaust systems. However, the real magic lies in the system's energy efficiency. It requires no additional power source. Instead, it harnesses the engine's inherent heat to facilitate fluid movement, effectively trapping CO2 in the process. The result? An engine that not only propels vehicles, but actively contributes to carbon negativity. While the potential of Toyota's carbon capture engine is boundless, challenges persist on the road to widespread adoption. Despite its initial deployment in hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, Toyota envisions its applicability across various propulsion systems. Yet, there's room for enhancement, as current iterations fall short of capturing emissions equivalent to those produced by traditional vehicles. The ultimate objective? Commercial viability through continual refinement and efficiency optimization. Is it not odd that Toyota is not keen on the EV hype? Pretty odd, but there is a reason for this that will surprise you. It is important to remember that Toyota is the world's largest automaker. The company definitely understand what customers want. That is why Toyota has remained the best-selling car brand for so many years. If Toyota is not excited about EVs, it is because they know EVs are not ready to take over just yet. Toyota has been cautious about investing in fully electric vehicles that do not require gas-powered engines like the Prius Hybrid. Remember how Toyota shook the automotive world with the Prius? Toyota seems to be up to something revolutionary again. The company believes that battery electric vehicles are not the only solution to producing more sustainable vehicles and achieving carbon neutrality. Toyota also continues to invest in a portfolio of electrified vehicles, ranging from traditional hybrids to fuel cell vehicles that run on hydrogen, but not so much on full battery-powered cars like Tesla. Toyota sold 11 million cars in 2023, making it the top seller in the world. Yet Toyota only aims for a low 190,000 EVs in 2024. This shows the low importance Toyota places on EVs. And guess what? It is working like magic for Toyota. They surely know what they are doing. For now, Toyota has no ambitious EV plans. It will be until 2026 before we see Toyota make a significant EV move when they plan to launch 10 new EV models including a three-row electric SUV that will be assembled in the US. Toyota has also unveiled a cutting-edge EV production line in Japan, which uses advanced robotics and artificial intelligence to improve efficiency and quality. So what exactly is Toyota's master plan? It is pretty simple. Toyota's strategy is to leverage its strengths in hybrid and fuel cell technologies, while also expanding its presence in the battery electric vehicle market. The company hopes to achieve its goal of selling 2 million zero-emission vehicles, BEVs and FCEVs globally by 2030 and to be carbon neutral by 2050. So the priority for Toyota remains making gas engine cars and innovating in hybrids and fuel cell technologies. EVs are a load of problems and Toyota is warning us about relying on EVs. This is what the leadership of the company has to say. According to Toyota's former CEO Akio Toyota, EVs are not necessarily the best solution for reducing greenhouse gas emissions as they depend on the electricity sources and infrastructure of each region. He also pointed out the challenges of battery production, recycling, and disposal, as well as the limited supply of raw materials. Toyota believes that Toyota should offer a range of options to meet the diverse needs and preferences of customers and markets. Toyota's new CEO Koji Sato 
who will took over in June 2023, also reaffirmed the company's commitment to a multi-pathway approach that includes various types of electrified vehicles. However, he has also announced some adjustments to the EV strategy, such as increasing the number of EV models from 15 to 20 by 2025 and launching a new EV platform called ETNGA. Sato has also emphasized the importance of hydrogen as a key element of Toyota's carbon neutral strategy. He aims to expand hydrogen infrastructure and its applications across various industries, such as power generation, transportation, and manufacturing. Let's take a look into what this is all going to achieve. One of the examples of Toyota's hydrogen initiatives is the TriGen system, which was completed in 2023 at Toyota's port of Long Beach operations in California. The TriGen system, developed by Fuel Cell Energy, produces renewable electricity, renewable hydrogen, and water from directed biogas. The system powers Toyota's port vehicle processing facility with 100% renewable energy, and also provides hydrogen fuel for Toyota's Mirai sedan and Project Portal heavy duty truck. Toyota's CEOs have expressed their preference to explore other fuel technologies instead of making EVs because they believe that this will allow them to achieve carbon neutrality more effectively and efficiently while also satisfying the diverse needs of customers and markets. Toyota is also investing heavily in hydrogen, which it sees as a versatile and clean energy source for various applications. Check out Toyota's hydrogen cell cars. Toyota hydrogen cars are vehicles that use hydrogen as a fuel source to generate electricity through a chemical reaction in a fuel cell stack. Toyota has been developing and promoting hydrogen cars for more than a decade, with the Mirai sedan being its flagship model. The Mirai, which means future in Japanese, was first launched in 2014 and has since undergone a major redesign in 2020. The 2024 Mirai offers a sleek and elegant design, a spacious and luxurious interior, and a range of advanced safety and convenience features. It also boasts a 402-mile EPA-estimated driving range rating, which is the highest among all electric vehicles on the market. Do you see where Toyota is going with this? The Mirai can be refueled in about five minutes at a hydrogen station, and the only byproduct of its operation is water. Toyota offers a complimentary fuel credit of $15,000 or six years for Mirai buyers, as well as 21 days of free vehicle rentals for long distance trips. The Mirai is currently available only in California, where there are about 50 hydrogen stations in operation. This seems to be a better idea than battery powered cars, which are the craze today. That is not all, no. There is more. Toyota is not only committed to hydrogen cars, but also to hydrogen combustion technology, which uses liquefied hydrogen as a fuel to power an internal combustion engine. Toyota believes that hydrogen combustion could offer a faster and more affordable way to achieve zero emissions by adapting existing technologies and leveraging existing investments. Toyota says it is about 40% along the path to commercializing hydrogen combustion products. Toyota's CEO, Koji Sato, has emphasized the importance of hydrogen alongside electric vehicles in the company's carbon neutral strategy. He has announced that Toyota will launch 10 new electric vehicle models by 2026 and another 10 after that. But he has also said that Toyota will continue to back its hydrogen program. He has suggested that Toyota may focus more on hydrogen for commercial vehicles, such as heavy duty trucks, where hydrogen has an advantage over batteries in terms of weight, space, and range. Now that Toyota is launching another innovation, we have to ask how well they have done with their previous innovations in the hybrid market. Toyota is one of the leading automakers in the hybrid vehicle market. With a global market share of around 25%, in 2023, Toyota's hybrid models such as the Prius, Corolla, Yaris, and RAV4 are popular among customers who seek fuel efficiency, lower emissions, and reliability. Toyota's hybrid sales increased by 9% in 2021, reaching over 2.7 million units worldwide, a record in this niche. In Europe, Toyota's alternative fuel vehicles accounted for more than two-thirds, 69%, of all new sales in 2021, achieving a record market share of 6.4%. Toyota's hybrid technology is also used by other brands, such as Lexus, Subaru, and Suzuki, expanding its reach and influence in the hybrid market. Toyota's dominance of the hybrid market is attributed to its early and continuous investment in hybrid technology, its strong brand reputation, its diverse and affordable product portfolio, 
and its ability to meet changing customer preferences and regulatory standards. Toyota aims to sell 5.5 million electrified vehicles, including 4.5 million hybrids, by 2025, as part of its vision to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. Toyota also plans to launch new hybrid models, such as the BZ4X, a battery electric SUV, and the Mirai, a hydrogen fuel cell sedan, to further strengthen its position in the hybrid market. Back to the carbon capture technology. Here is another demonstration of its capability. Toyota also has a Hilux carbon capture vehicle that uses a carbon capture mechanism to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. It was demonstrated at the Super Taikyu Endurance Racing Series at the Fuji Speedway in Japan in 2023. The vehicle has a hydrogen burning engine and two special filters that capture carbon dioxide from the outside air. The filters use the heat from the engine oil to release the carbon dioxide into a recovery fluid, which can be disposed of later. The system does not require additional energy and can be installed in any vehicle with an engine. Toyota is also planning to introduce a hybrid electric Hilux in early 2024, which will reduce the tailpipe carbon dioxide emissions by 46% by 2030. Toyota's carbon capture technology is still in its early stages, but it shows the potential of using internal combustion engines to clean the air as you drive. To see more cutting edge technology such as this, subscribe to the channel. Check out other exciting videos on the automotive industry here.